Well, they say all good things come to an end. Don't worry, we're not finishing the show, but we're thinking that our time in Uxbridge is coming to a conclusion. So we're going to be taking a look around the place that has been our town for the past five years. Also today, we're having a massive clear out, visiting the zoo, and I finally get to see some squirrels. So let's get started. This is Frey's River. It's just round the corner from where we live and we walk along here when we go into Uxbridge. It can be a little noisy with the traffic because the main road is just on the other side of the fence. But when you see the ducks out, it really does make a lovely walk into the town. I need to talk pretty quietly because there's a lovely white bird standing in the middle of the river and they get quite nervous if they hear me it's very likely to fly away so here we are ah more ducks gathering by the bridge I don't think I've ever seen so many pigeons in one spot. Well, maybe in Trafalgar Square. They're all out today. Do they think I've got food or something? This is where Frey's River opens out. And often you can see a swan or two. There's one today, coming right over to say hello. Hello. I see you've left your mate behind. Yep, way over there. You can always be sure of seeing a few ducks around here as well. This is Windsor Street. We've been here before. And St. Margaret's Church. Got the name right this time. And um, we haven't taken you beyond Windsor Street. So um, up ahead is the High Street which is partly pedestrianised. There are two shopping centres in Uxbridge, the Pavilions and the Chimes. This is the pedestrianised side of the High Street. This is where you'll find Uxbridge Library. There's no cars at the minute, but you do find traffic coming through this part of the town centre. It's also one of the bus routes through the town. You know how you walk past somewhere for years and never go in? Well that's what happened with Nona Rossa. But we did eventually go in a few weeks ago and had a fabulous time at this Italian restaurant. I know what you're thinking. Why have I heard Uxbridge in the news? Well it could be because a celebrity was arrested at Heathrow Airport and appeared at court. And normally, when that happens, the appearance is right here at Uxbridge Magistrates Court. So the Queen has even been in Uxbridge during her Golden Jubilee in June 2002, when she unveiled this sculpture called Anticipation. Uxbridge is also home to Coca-Cola in Europe. Just check the back of those cans for the UB8 postcode. And this is the Civic Centre. Um, it's Hellington Civic Centre. I suppose it's the equivalent of the Town Hall. And this holds some special memories for Paul and me because it was here in, what, 2009, I think it was. Paul will correct me if I'm wrong, um, that he became a British citizen and there was a little reception in the, the mayor's parlour and it was a lovely day. Uh, we all stood up and sang God Save the Queen. Uh, 
I did say at the top of the show we've been in Uxbridge for five years, and that is true. But in actual fact, we were here one time before and for a further five years. We've had ten years in Uxbridge. We will miss the place when we leave, but we do feel that now is the time for change. We have a lot of boxes here. We are busy sorting out our stuff. We are having this... We have lived in our house for about five and a bit years now and we are going to be having this house cleaned. We are going to have it deep cleaned and this is the first day of sorting out the stuff. We've accumulated all our stuff. We're going to see what needs to be kept, what needs to be discarded and things that we will think about later on. I think we need to be ruthless and... Um, you wanna get rid of my old school photos? No. Into the box they go then. Keep? Yeah. So yeah, um... So this is the walk-in wardrobe. It's massive. There's a lot of space for a lot of stuff, I think. I'm not really looking forward to going through everything. <clears throat> All right, this is gonna take a little while to do. So I think I need to set you down now and get going and we will film more in, in a little while. As you can see, we've been pretty busy um, sorting lots of stuff, clearing lots of stuff um, and there's still quite a long way to go. We've even got last year's Christmas tree still waiting to, uh, to be disposed of. Um, but it feels quite cathartic to do this um, because there's been a build-up of stuff in our house for the past five years and it's time to start clearing and in fact once we've got everything boxed up we plan to leave it where it is because who knows we might be moving house in the near future. Like, I think I've only seen them on TV before, and it's like, this is really Do they eat many things, or are they hungry? They don't eat anything, literally anything. So we feed him insects, uh, a special pellet, which is actually a cat pellet, yeah. and then he gets vegetation, and occasionally a bit of meat. He looks very active. And he's a fully grown adult. Yes, he's a fully grown adult. He is about 10 now. But there's 20 different species of armadillos. Uh -huh. so you may have seen a, a larger species, like yeah. a giant forest yeah. armadillo, yeah. Yeah. which grows around five feet long. So. Wow. But he's a, a large hairy. They're found 
in the southern parts of South America, <laughs> so not really the rainforest, not dry hair. Do you have many of them in the zoo? We have uh, Jack and Marion, who are brother and sister, so Marion is a veterinary person at the moment. Okay. And they come out for our demonstration, so that we train them to come out and do some behaviors with us. Which is mainly running around. Yeah. <laughs> Up to about 15 to 20. There's a general lifestyle. Oh, wow. So they've got great big front claws. They're really powerful. They'll dig into the earth in a matter of seconds. So. <laughs> They're big excavators. Wow. They're a bit like bulldozers. Yeah. So crashes around. Hey there, this is Jack. He's a, a large I've got a few tasty morrows. Oh. oh, wow. They <laughs> get excited when they see me. Oh, wow. Uh, this is Jack, our large hairy armadillo. Yeah. Just looking for some uh, tasty insects. Yeah. 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 A few weeks ago you might remember that I was in the park trying to find squirrels, very elusive creatures. Well, I've come out for a day at the zoo and amongst all the other animals who are rightly here, guests of the zoo you could say, are some squirrels and I think that they may be crashing the party, who knows, but we have seen some and they are quite amazing. I saw it over there before. Up over there. There's like some movement up there. I don't know. Do you see it moving up there? <clears throat> Thank you for watching the show. If you like what you see, then please subscribe. I mean, seriously, please subscribe. That's it for today, see you next time.